today we are, when I say we, I mean me and you. You and I are going to uh, Fletcher Disc Golf Course. Finally, so, you know, I got the video, we'll link it wherever, of uh, us previewing the course. So today it's a completed product. I'm scoring pretty well on U Disc, it looks like too. So we're about to go play it for the first round. I've got a 40% battery, so we'll see what we can get filmed. So as you can tell, this place is absolutely booming today. Um, I got here like right at five, so there's a bunch of people that just got off work. But uh, hole one, going up the hill. I'm decided to play short to short, just for the first experience. Uh, I usually like to play long to long first time, but there's so many people here that I just kind of got to hurry up. So um, looks like my first shot was a good one. So course record pace so far. So hole two. The short basket's straight ahead of me there. It's got kind of a cool little two-tier setup. So up the long basket's back into that corner right there. Okay, I just had a huge overthrow on that shot. Uh, bad read on my part. I took out the uh, G-Star Destroyer, put it on Big Ol' Heiser. Um, and then I went all the way to the backwoods instead of uh, anywhere close to the basket. So, step putt for birdie. Just looking around this whole, so, this course so far, it's just absolutely minty. Um, really nice work. This is kind of the open portion and it gets into a wooded portion. Um, very busy today, as I mentioned, but uh, going into hole three here, it's a straight shot right through the woods. Find something straight. Uh, I think I'm going to throw a meteor. That was a fine shot. I uh, caught a little bit of the cabbage on the right side, but fought through just enough to come back to the basket, so it should be about a uh, 15 footer. Okay, looking for hole three. I presume this is the long basket, but I can't find the guys that I was uh, I was following. <laughs> or the long tee pad. I literally stayed behind them so I could follow them, and now I lost them. What is this tee pad doing here? Oh, I think I hear him. A little training tree, <laughs> like half a calorie. <laughs> Alright, y'all take care. Have a good one. Okay, we are sitting at two under at this moment. Uh, coming up on another big group in front of me. Oh, that white basket is so cool. I love white basket. Let's do this whole five. I don't know. We got no signs up yet, so not sure. Alright, this hill's another pretty straightforward one, just right around that tree. So, go ahead and throw something, uh... Oh, the red basket is right there. I was looking at the white basket. Um, yeah, they're putting into it now. It's a very, very short hole. Of course, I hit the one tree that was designed for me to hit, but... Should be an easy putt still. Not too far off the, uh... Too far away from the tree probably 30 footer but i don't know i'm thinking i should probably start going like front tee pad back basket just because i like white baskets there's our spot we got a creek right back there could make for some interesting putts at some point good birdie nice solid putt There you go. All right. Got a case of the rushes, whatever you want to call that. So I'm diving into the brush out here to find my beloved ballista. Thank you. All 
All right, made some friends, helped me find my disc and uh, save the par majestically. Um, beautiful hole coming up. Here's the short basket, or the short tee pad. Um, the long one's right back up there, very nice. So uh, let's do this, guide it in. All right, still playing short to short, still dropping dimes. Um, no bogeys, another birdie on the way. I think I put this one right next to the post. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and drop this puckers in. Count it. All right, got a nice arrow here to point me in the right direction. All right, I think we found our way to hole eight, but I'm not sure. Okay, baby, time to get serious. Yep, there's a big eight on the ground. That's gotta be it. Sounds like mulch. Oh. Yes, remembering from the review video, when I first got to walk this course, uh, this is what he called the uh, sanctuary? Or the cathedral, the cathedral. So if it's a par four, that was a perfect shot. If it's a par three, it was not. Should've thrown a driver. Tried for more of a skip. But uh, let's see what we can do. All right, I'm right here on this wood line. The basket is right down the pipe, that direction. Alright, let's take our tap in. It's a good little uh, push shot that I did there. Loved it. Call that a three. Don't know if it's a birdie. Um, find out soon. Let's go right around the corner here to hole nine, which looks to be a very long one. Right, here's our long tee pad. There's our short tee pad. And surprise, surprise, more people in the fairway. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, looks like it's a nice part three. Uh, straight ahead one overhanging branch. Overturn that one into the woods. The people tried to get out of the way, but they were right where, uh, right where my disc would have hyzered out. So I was like, make sure that you overturn it because they have a stroller and they have a kid, um, which is okay. It's not a bad result. All right, there's my disc. Be uh, pitching out this way. Good pitch out again, staying out of trouble. Very conservative play today. Very conservative. Thank you, helpful arrow. 